everyone, I hope you're good guys. Welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna try to recreate the opening track from Ben Bomber on his Circle live set. I really recommend to go to check it if you haven't checked it yet. We're gonna focus mainly on the sense because the drums are kind of classic. You can grab the project, link in the description, but you can as well get a free preset. Link is in the description as well. So yeah, let's have a listen. First, basically uh, the tracks start uh, something like this. Kind of try to recreate the full track. It's not exactly the full track. It's missing the last part, but and then after you have with all this synth SFX reverse sound stuff, and you have some return here. And after you have more like the break part. I didn't put all the SFX and transition like you've done, but you've got the main structure and all of the main elements. Alright, so that's how it sounds. Let's have a look at the drum. I'm just gonna go over quickly because it's not the main things. Like the kick is kind of 808. Uh, one tip I can give you here is uh, you can see here I have the tom low that I've shortened the GK and I've pitched it up 10 semi on upper. This way you can get this clicky sound and on top of the 808 click sound like this. And then after in term of process, so you have saturator, makes things a little bit louder, add a bit of body. The EQ is really like to boost the frequency. Kick frequency here I remove the unnecessary low end, I remove around 500 for the muddiness and then after what I boost here, here and here it's uh, mainly for accentuating the click as you can hear. And then a bit of reverb, the reverb is like to accentuate the click if you listen in the whole mix. help a little bit to improve and then drum bus is to really add some punch so I put it in hard mode compression add a bit of transient and yeah all right then the drums so the drums here are pretty basic you have a closer hat of beat as you can hear it's kind of sounding pretty dry was like I found it okay working like this, just a bit of saturation to add harmonics and I just tame a little bit the very high frequency and then after you have the same ball playing, same, no process. Then you have this stuff which is no spare which is interesting. So the pattern is like this, so you have this one just off beat which is nice, just give this nice rhythm. So to create the sound I use operator and I use the noise oscillator but, but you can see it's like classic it's just I filter it to not have the whole signal flanger I'm gonna come back to it put it mono add a bit of reverb EQ it and here the interesting thing is like you can hear in the track is kind of there is this flanger effects or fading effect so uh, by using the flanger and applying the LFO if I put 100% you will hear better. You get this slice modulation. Then finally the snare. So snare basic again play every two bit. Here the trick I can give you is like to make sure you nudge a little bit. You know it's not exactly quantized on the top of the of the kick. It's just a bit before and you get this snappy effect by doing that. Because if I quantize it's not as snappier other than here and some trick I can give you here what I've done which uh, works well so when you have this hat like this but you want to accentuate the noisiness of the hat and obviously it's a sample so you cannot really control it I like to use pedal in first mode and you see how it adds way much more noise saturated to make things louder 
just remove a little bit of the body and boost the high frequency pitch it down so frequency shifter is a nice way to pitch things but in a different way than the normal pitch uh, i don't know it's just work differently and then bit of reverb a very subtle reverb uh, and then i reduce the width because i didn't want it something too stereo and yeah all together all right so the two main elements are the tambourine and uh, what i've called the tambourine which is this kind of noisy stuff and you have the key as well so i'm gonna go with the key first and you're gonna understand why so i've removed all of the effect it's just analog and i'm gonna go in the midi pattern first so you can see c sharp and g sharp basically the track is in f sharp major i think and c sharp is the fifth and g sharp is the second and here what i've done is just two sine wave and just one is played two octave upper one is one octave upper because basically the idea of the sound is this kind of sine wave with a lot of delay but was as well kind of lofi vibe and that's what i try to recreate so you have chord as well because this way you have more not playing so one thing I'm, I'm gonna add the delay like this you will understand and then you get this kind of hypnotic rhythmic so it's important to put in three five and fifth back 50 percent draw weight around 50 percent and the delay filter around here and in ping pong obviously then i'm just gonna add the reverb Add a bit of then some saturation i apply in this order because the other effect otherwise is going to be hard to hear what they do so then overdrive and pedal is more like for the low feed distorted vibe you see this kind of radio effect i wanted a little bit you see like the when you speak on the phone or you have like just a very narrow frequency and you can see it with the eq that's what i've tried to accentuate and boosting here really this phone radio effect pedal to give a little extra saturation okay and now for our lovey vibe i use erosion so i have two erosion one is more like a add uh, you see there is this weird frequency distortion so i i choose 414 there is a, a reason for that and if you go to spectrum and you see the play the not playing if you go on this one you can see it's g sharp and it's like around 414 so that's why i choose this one and you will see that if i use different frequency sounds weird so this one also is good see this it's kind of distorted vibe and then this is also just adding noise so again this kind of lofi vibe Virgin distortion it's not a huge deal but again it accentuates this lofi effect and then EQ to really boost the frequency I wanted and so then it was a bit too much in the front and I wanted to put it in the back and cabinet is great for that the original sound is just a sine wave but it got so much character and, and, and tone that... So yeah, that was our first path. And then you have the key one low, which is exactly the same MIDI pattern. And you're gonna see it's exactly the same preset. Here, I just basically duplicate it. And what I've done is the overdrive here, it's more on the low. And you can see here, I let pass more frequency there otherwise the pedal is the same all the settings here are the same and i've removed the noise because for the low one i didn't really need it noise because i had it already with the the, the key one high and yeah more like a, i didn't put the cabinet on this one but yeah then together so then it need to work together with the tambourine because the, the track starts like this so how i made the tambourine again i duplicate two tracks there is this one which is kind of very um again lofi and and one which is more like a percussive with the hats 
So this is kind of, yeah. You can see here again what I've done is I duplicate the track. I've done this a lot. Obviously you cannot really recognize, but the thing is here what it's making the big difference is like super filtered, as you can see here. So, sorry, you have as well this frequency shifter, so. And this one here. So the frequency shifter kind of pitch it up, but the thing is, it's heavily filtered. So that's what's making it more like a noisy things. And yeah, let me bring back this. And so this is playing like a 16 knot hat, and the same is with this one. And so now you have this one, which is like a sample. This was the original hat, but for this kind of sound, if you want a like lofi vibe or Redux is nice, uh, frequency shifter is nice. You can really get this kind of weird, distorted like uh, erosion. Then after it's just delay, and after you could just filter very high because you just want the the very top top end saturation. Here in the hard curve, it's like hard distortion and bit of reverb and mono and then they are both really together but yeah for this kind of erosion it's really nice for this kind of vibe so now yes with we have our main uh, things so before to jump into the lead there is this send background so this basically in the track I got the impression when the track when there is the kick appear at the first time I got the impression there is this scent in the mid which is not our key scent and but it's a scent that you cannot really hear it's really hard to hear and it's like the scent which is here but not really here you know it's like like it doesn't play a key role but if you remove it it feels kind of empty and it's kind of fill a space here again I, I reuse exactly the same track I just removed the overdrive and pedal but and filter it a little bit more to really cover this and it's do something like dun, 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 dun. if you listen carefully to the track you can you will hear something similar as well playing in the in the track and it's just like super filter and yeah but again it's a basic sound it's like a sign sine wave but it's more like the purpose. You probably didn't even notice it in the first place when you listened to the track. You was mainly hearing th this one, but not this one. Okay, yeah, just before lead one, actually the bass. So for the bass, this is like uh, something I took out of a rack that is gonna be available not this Sunday, but the next one. It's the next rack basically, which is a rack to make bass line. And I took it to present out and some of the effect. Yeah, basically I used a chord just to have a richer sound and you have two oscillators so you have this one which is the Sotus from Wavetable Vintage Mini Wave and you have the second oscillator which is from the OB6 so these two I'll, I used a lot in the last time and it's kind of a basic patch if you think eh? it's nothing uh, one thing important, I will recommend to use the Prodigy filter, 24 dB, add a bit of drive, don't bring resonance because otherwise it's gonna sound weak, you can add a bit of sub. Got a bit of envelope at the beginning, but it's not that much of a deal. And then saturation to make it louder and beefier. Chorus to make, add a bit of movement, make it a bit more stereo. Here I have my bomb bass rack, it's just this macro here, harmonic, harmonics. I will put the link in the description if you wanna find out more about the rack. Some sidechain compression, but this is, I'm gonna remove it for now. And then after, obviously, what I like to do with the bass is don't be shy to add a lot of distortion and make it very rich. And then after, on the final step, to add a low pass filter. And then after, when you listen with the rest of the track, you decide uh, which... I 
right now could have been a bit like you to decide like to don't overlap with other elements but still being able to hear the top end of the bass can be nice depend on what you are looking for but and then you can see it's super stereo but i like as well to add a bit of delay to i don't know make it even more move and reverb just make things a bit bigger and then utility just to make sure everything will under 200 hertz it's like in mono basically and the note is playing just two notes if i'm not mistaken and it's f sharp and c sharp so f sharp which is the root and c sharp which is the fifth all right and now let's go to our main uh So this is kind of a basic sound, but you kind of have to nail a couple of things. So for this one, I use analog. I'm gonna build this one from scratch because this one is a bit more interesting. Just one oscillator. Uh, let me just grab. Obviously you need to get the right melody straight. So the melody is always changing. As you can see, I, I, I put different color for the different pattern. Uh, I'm not gonna go to all of them, but. I'll let you analyze and see. One thing I'm gonna add delay straight away because like this is sounding too dry. And the reason is very hard sometimes to, to really hear some of the little detail I will put without having like the reverb and the delay. And you will think like, okay, this doesn't do much, but it actually after when you have delay and reverb, it actually. Okay. So here again, 24 dB, low pass filter. And you can see already that when we reduce the filter, you start to get the idea. Once you've got that, you can add a bit uh, of... Add a bit of resonance, but just slightly. You see how it... One thing, if you listen to the original track, there is a lot of modulation in the filter modula in the filter. Like some notes, the filter is super close, some not the filter is open. And you can automate that one by one. But one thing you can do, obviously I could have go first with the frequency modulation and the key. So the higher the note, the more the filter open. But the thing is sometimes there is very high note who are playing with the filter cut off very down. So this one was not working, the solution. Here the trick is play with the envelope velocity and to put something around two. And the reason why this way later here, you can see i've played with the velocity and you're gonna be able with the velocity to control how you want your filter to be open because it's gonna control the envelope and obviously the more you put envelope modulation the more your filter is gonna open but okay let me put so you can hear now how and if I put this one down the velocity, you see it's muted. I put up. And this one, which is in low note, if I want, for example, to have the filter more open, I bring the velocity up now. You see, and you can. So then after you can play it the way you want. I, I didn't follow exactly how we've done the whole stuff, but yeah, that's what I've done. And one thing you can be, and you can do obviously, it's maybe envelope velocity here, reduce, and uh, either put zero or put two. Yeah, let's put two actually. And we have pretty much. Then after it's a bit more saturation, saturation maybe the amp here if you want you can have a longer delay if you want a longer tail you can play as well here and then if you want to accentuate now you can have an eq and what i like to do is for example have a cutoff cut at the right at the lower note and then after Boost here and then maybe cut a little bit here, like just to make the, the sound a little bit softer.
And then, yes, you have your sound. So one thing nice that he is doing, especially in the second part, so you can see here I have lead one reverse, and it's this kind of... Reverse send. The way to do that, so once you have your lead, you duplicate, you want to put this into a lot of reverb, so uh, way much more. And I'm gonna actually delay the automation as well, I will come back to it later. Alright, and what you want to do is uh, freeze and flatten your track. So I'm going to speed up the process here. Flatten. Alright, now you got your stuff. So here is obviously your signal, but... Alright, so what you want to do... First, I don't know why it's always like this, but... What I like to do is take... Here, I'm gonna cut here because I, I don't want too much of the attack. And then when you got this here, you put it like this, and then you double click here and you have reverse here. And then up oh, it's gonna reverse your track. And what you wanna do is more or less add the same uh, kind of SFX. So delay and reverb as well again. Alright, maybe here you can accentuate on the feedback a bit more, a bit more dry wet. Same here and as well what you can do is have an EQ to kind of filter the sound a little bit. And maybe... You can accentuate some resonant, some frequency to make it a bit more resonant. And then obviously you can, you are, you can do the same after with uh, any of them. Here you cut, do the same, just press reverse, easy. And then after the way you place in the sound, it's really uh, depend. You can see usually I, le I let it play and then after I put it, except here, but because here was, it's the drop, but usually it's, it play after, you can see it's always playing after here. So for example, this one is the same down here, but so you have, oh, let me remove this. Then you have the river style so obviously here it's a bit too loud but you get the idea and then you can do the same for all of the tracks that's what i've done here so that's the first thing that was the lead reverse then one thing i forgot to show with the lead one is you have these two send here so you have sfx1 and you have sfx2 so this is really interesting you can hear sometimes is there is the send which is kind of a reverse effect <laughs> You have this reverse effect, so to get this in Ableton, the only, I think, device which can do reverse is this pitch axe. You need to have the creative extension, but it's like a free pack from live. Just as a default like this, I think it come and uh, you can just leave it like this and then add a bit of delay and reverb. And same, you want like a very wide reverb. And you get this reverse effect. And the second, the second here, let me click A, is this one. So this one is more like a granular delay. So again, you have the reverse. Oh, sorry. You, again, you have the reverse, but you switch up and there is this grain delay, which is gives the granular texture. You're gonna hear. And it's play here as well. So this one as well, you could have pitch up 12 semitone, which is an octave upper, or you can have actually create another return with one at zero, one at plus 12. Yeah, this is, this is really add uh, nice things to uh, your track. So yeah, first is granular, and then after you have this return. And you have this one as well so which is almost you can hear the reverse so then
So that's something really nice you can implement in your own track as well. Having some weird delay or weird like kind of reverse effect in the return that you can send, you send from time to time to add variation and make things more interesting, obviously, I really do recommend to do. And then finally, this send break. Uh, you can see, again, I use exactly the same analog, just one sine wave with noise. And nothing special about this is more like how it play, like which note it play. You have to filter it a little. And again. Delay and reverb put it more in the background. Right, and then on the master, I haven't done anything on the master because uh, it was totally the point but yeah i hope guys you liked the video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe you can grab the project for six pounds on our website i will put the link in the description or you can grab as well uh, i will probably put the lead one present this project for free the link will be in the description as well uh, so yeah thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon guys bye bye